Hi everyone, John Paul Brionis here from In Motion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our Roundcube series. Today I'm going to show you how to read a new email message in Roundcube. Alright, start by logging into your webmail. Be sure to use your full email address as your username. Okay, once you've logged into Webmail, you'll see the three options here. In this case, we're doing Roundcube, so we're going to select Roundcube as your Webmail client. Go ahead and click the Roundcube button. And it may take a second to load once you click it. Okay, once your Webmail, Roundcube Webmail is loaded, you'll see this page here. And this is essentially just your main Roundcube page and interface. Um, in this case, we're dealing with new mail and we want to check and read new emails. And so what I normally recommend doing is clicking this refresh button up here on the top left. If you've left your webmail window open, this is probably a more important step. But since you just opened it, it should display your new email. But I normally like to just click the refresh just to ensure that it's got the latest email in the inbox. And then you'll notice I have a one here next to my inbox. That means that I have one email available or sorry one new email message and so uh, when I look if I click my inbox at this point um, you'll see that there's there's one new e there's two emails there there's one new email and the one that's new is this one here and you could tell because it's bolded and, and, and a little bit darker and more bold than this one this one's already been read okay and so at this point uh, just double click the email you see this is my new email I'm gonna double click it it'll open up and you'll see the actual contents of the email in this case you'll see it's just that uh, somebody made a comment on one of my WordPress sites and so it's just letting me know that someone left a, a comment and I need to go there and moderate the comment so essentially let me know and make sure it's not spam but um, at this point once I've got the email open you'll notice there's buttons on the top here that can be used the main ones that I like to point out for people is the reply which is if you want to reply back to the person that emailed you forward if you wanted to forward this message to another user you can click that it'll give you the option to to forward this email and then also delete deleting the email will of course send it to the trash um, and then if you want to move it you can actually click move to move it to different folders for storing or archiving later thank you for joining us for another video in our round cube series feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.